Please note, we would like to make it very clear, we are totally against the form of discipline described in the articles and accounts being used on minors and non-consenting adults. Although some of these accounts are fictional, and others may be an exaggerated reality, none of them are too far from the truth of what really happened back in those days. If you are enjoying our stories, please do subscribe to this channel. We will be posting many more stories as time goes by. When I was a junior at high school in East Texas in the 1980s, I was paddled for leaving the campus without permission. During lunch break, I decided to get into my car and ride to the local gas station. There I filled up my tank and picked up a couple of soft drinks. Upon my return I tried to sneak into the building. Unfortunately, I ran across Miss Barton, the school secretary, who immediately requested to see my permission slip. Of course, I was unable to present one, so I was sent to the principal's office to be disciplined. It so happened that Mr. Walker, the principal, was out of town that day. Therefore Mrs. Smith, the vice principal, dealt with me. I had to take a seat while Mrs. Smith explained to me the dangers involved in driving off campus during school hours without first obtaining permission. After the lecture, she announced that I was going to receive five swats of the paddle by way of punishment. I was ordered to empty my back pockets and bend over the desk while Mrs. Smith grabbed a big wooden paddle. Miss Barton was called into the office to act as a witness to this dose of corporal punishment. Mrs. Smith explained to Miss Barton why I was being spanked and that I was to receive five swats. Then she lifted her right arm and applied the paddle forcefully to the seat of my pants. I gasped as the pain spread across my bottom. By the time swat number five landed across my buttocks, I was moaning in agony. Once the spanking had been given, Mrs. Smith ordered me to get up and compose myself. She asked me if I had learned my lesson, and of course I obediently replied, yes. Needless to say, I never left the campus without permission again.